Sarah Baldwin. I'm the university pastor and dean of spiritual life at George Fox University. And today I get to sit down with Susan E. Isaacs. She's an actress, she's a comedian, and also an author. And uh, she's also a, a professor at Pepperdine and Azusa Pacific University and teaching screenwriting and sketch comedy. And we're delighted to get to have someone whose credits include Seinfeld, My Name is Earl, and Parks and Rec. Well, you have a lot of wisdom for aspiring actors and screenwriters. I'm wondering if you could expand on any of that for that uh, student or that person who's just beginning. How do you go about this discovery process? Well, I think um, one thing is to really think about what gives you pleasure, what makes you feel alive, what makes you feel like, I talk about in the book, What are you playing the note that God made you to play? Um, I've talked about this before, but if you take two guitars and you put them right next to each other and you pluck, like the, and they're in tune, if you pluck the E string on one, the one right next to it will vibrate because it's a sound wave. And this guitar is, is this uh, string is being plucked, but that one will vibrate. If you have, like if you go to live theater and you see performances and you feel like that's your sound wave, that's the note you're wanting to play. You should pay attention to what makes your heart ache, what makes you thrilled. I, I see great movies and I am just thrilled by them. Seeing a great performance or seeing a great story and recognizing great writing, that's what gets to me. That's where I feel like um, that's the note I want to play. So I would say for someone starting out, it's like the cliche from uh, Chariots of Fire, I run fast and when I run I feel God's pleasure. When do you feel like you're in your element, like you were born to do that one thing? Like a Labrador retriever, you throw a stick into the lake and that dog is like in its element. And I would ask the person, what do you really feel in your heart? When do you feel most alive? When do you feel like there's something holy and God-given where you are lit up from the inside and you hear God say, well done. Um, when do you feel like you make God proud? Um, that, you have to pay attention to that ache and that feeling of when you're lit up from the inside. Susan, that, you said some really profound things and I really appreciate that example you have about the guitars and that sense of being near what makes your heart sing. and. I think that has a lot of wisdom in it because we often tell people try on different things but sometimes you don't even get to try it on you just have to be present to it and yes see what engages you i remember a, a priest telling me the human heart is meant to expand mm -hmm. and grow and change and who you were five years ago isn't who you are now mm -hmm. and if you're feeling some sense of restlessness or unhappiness or an ache for something else it could be god or just yourself telling yourself you need more and I think it's you might not know exactly what you want to be and I think I mistook for you know when I went through struggles in my acting I would think like well God you opened that door to family ties like 10 years ago you know if you didn't want me to be in this business why did you open the door in the first place and that's, that was wrong for me to expect that I would get one assignment and it would never change um, but also I think also God gives us opportunity. I think I wanted God to tell me, this is what you're supposed to do. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. Rather than, it was more frightening to imagine God saying, well, what do you want to do? Yeah. No, I, no, you need to tell me the right thing. I wanted to hedge my bets. I wanted God to take, make the choice for me. But sometimes God asks us, well, what do you want to do? Mm 